All right, so this is going to be my food slash cooking setup for the first half of my Ozark Highlands Trail through hike. And it's pretty well gonna repeat the second half, but I am gonna have a resupply um, about six days in. So this is my stove which gets wrapped up in this towel that I use to kind of wipe out my pots, um, dry them out, but it's a Brunton. And I've had this, no, well, it used to be Brunton. But I've had this stove um, since I've been backpacking, so it's like 20 years old, still works like a champ, the igniter works. It is like, I think four ounces, so it's a little heavier than like BRS or some of the other uh, lightweight stoves, but she's trusty and a lover. And then I carry um, just the 110 fuel can. And this is also a Brunton aluminum cook pot with little foldy handles and has this nice little lid too. She's seen some things though. She's old. But still works. And then I cut up an old cooler and made this little um, kind of like pot cozy thing. And then I put a little on the lid as well. Because usually I boil water and put whatever I'm cooking for dinner in there and just let it sit and rehydrate without having to cook anything besides boiling water. Makes it a lot easier. And I also carry this cup. I use it for coffee and then at night um, if I have like a little nun bedtime tablet thing or cook something up for before bedtime, I use that to uh, drink it. Especially if I'm cooking dinner and eating out of here, I've got this to drink stuff out of. And then over here is my food bag, light AF, standard issue. Dyneema food bag with the Dyneema rock bag and whatever this rope is called, like zing it or something fancy. But I wrap it around a little piece of PVC because I do do, um, yeah, do do. I do a PCT style bear hang with it and it's a lot easier for me to use like a piece of PVC with the rope drilled through it to tie my, um, what is it, a taunt line hitch, clove hitch, whatever hitch. It's a lot easier for my frozen little fingers to tie it on a piece of PVC than it is um, the little tiny stick or whatever that it comes with. So I use that. And then eating utensil, long handle, Amazon spoon. I don't believe it's titanium stainless steel I don't know it's a spoon food wise breakfast is either going to be bobos and nut butter or granola with protein powder and whatever else I put in there and that's just um, throw some water in I don't cook in the morning so I just throw in um, rehydrate protein powder also, I have some goat's milk powder that I may put in here as well, but those are my two breakfasts. For lunch, I'm going between, I haven't bought the bagels yet, but I'm going to use bagel thins for like a PB&J, also with um, almond butter and these little smuckers that I stole from work. And then I've got goldfish and also Cheez-Its. H-E-B brand Cheez-Its because I'm cheap like that and Big Newtons my absolute favorite thing to eat ever I've never gotten tired of them and also peanut butter filled pretzels also one of my all-time favorites that I don't get tired of I don't really eat like a big lunch I'm usually more of um, a snack throughout the day kind of girl but these two always go like before noon. Somehow I've consumed these. And the rest of lunch and snacks kind of to get 
just eaten throughout the day. But uh, for dinner, I'm gonna have three different dinners that I'm gonna have, um, I think three each. The first one is this real tortellini. It's a dehydrated tortellini with stuff with cheese and spinach. And I just kind of found these and I thought, ooh, that's more fun than like plain old pasta. So I'm gonna do those with some uh, basil pesto tuna packets. And I'm also gonna fix up a sort of fresh pesto to put on it with it with um, olive oil. I'm gonna bring a couple cloves of garlic and then some dried basil, which is not the same as fresh basil, but we can have everything. Uh, dinner option number two, Idahoan roasted garlic parmesan baby reds, delicious, with a little bit of olive oil, bacon bits, real bacon bits, and salmon. And this is one of like the huge packets of salmon, and I like it. Because the other one's like... What is this 150 the others are like 70 calories and i was like let's get the big one because i'm a big girl and dinner option number three is refried black beans and chicken chunks and also i'm gonna buy uh tortillas once the time comes but i love tacos this is one of my favorites delicious I also put a little taco seasoning in with these because they're kind of plain by themselves. But you put in a little taco seasoning and ooh, delicious. And then dinner dessert. Normally I'm like 100% dark chocolate and Walker shortbreads. Every night, rest of my life, never get tired of it. But these were on like super clearance, so I bought these. Not quite a hundred percent, but they'll do. And also I'm gonna mix in a little bit of caramel corn, just to change things up a little. Because I absolutely love popcorn and it's ultra light. And that pretty well does it for like the main meals. And these are just like snack times. I've also got some dried fruit that I forgot to put out here. Dried fruit, a um, couple Laura bars, protein cookie, M&M's, caramel. I like to eat the caramel ones because they take a really long time to chew. So it lasts like forever. And then my coffee is, um, I think it's Korean, but it's a freeze dried coffee. Um, Maxim is the brand. And I get the uh, dark roast and it's super delicious. And I just drink coffee black by itself like six ounce in the morning, drink it and done. But I really like that brand. And it's freeze dried and it dissolves like instantly, no problem mixing it. Also, I do the, um, the Nun tablets, but I like the watermelon for like the regular hydration electrolyte one, but they've been hell like breaking in half to get in my bottles. So I bought some of the powdered stuff um, just so I don't have to fight it. But in this one is a little bit of the caffeinated ones and also the sleepy time ones because I like to have those at night. I think they're like lemon and chamomile flavor or something. Delicious. And lastly, these are my toothbrushes. These are, I think Colgate Wisp. And I know I'm creating a little more trash in the world, but they're so easy to just brush your teeth, throw it away, done, and not have to mess with like cleaning out a toothbrush, especially if I'm low on water. They're super handy. So that covers everything. Um, I'm gonna have another resupply box with pretty much all this stuff again in there, but this is all going in that food bag to start out.